Hello, hello, and welcome back to Strange Horticulture. Yay! Let's see what's happening in game right now. Oh, oh yes, yeah, that's right. We're at the end of the day, day ten. And we have not figured out how to do this elixir yet, so maybe I'll work on that as people kind of trickle in. Okay, so it has to be made from crushed petals of three distinct plants, distinctive plants. The Baylox elixir is a potent aid to memory, allowing those who drink it to ensure that they retain important information that they will never forget. Care must be taken after drinking. However, to avoid the fate of the Grey Gale, who slowly lost her mind after taking Baylox and started a blank, stared at a blanky wall. 12 hours, that's not good. No. I mean, it's better than, like, being, you know, go crazy and getting poisoned, but... Pfft. Like everybody else. Okay, I think I... Where I looked at Candlewood. Um... A rare plant that is believed to help dead find peace in the afterlife. Those could be word. It placed wreaths made from the graves of the loved ones. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Bruised red flower that provides a shielding effect, protecting against the manner of afflictions of the mind. So that might be one. Um, and I think that's Candlewood. I mean, it has something to do with the mind, and this is about memory, so maybe? I don't know. <sighs> Dark magic. There's substance or specifics to back up those claims. Oh, hello, Elvin. I am working on figuring out how to figure out this elixir. So they give us these little pictures, but I went through the whole book and I could not find like an exact replica of these flowers. And all they really tell us is that it's an aid to memory. So... Um, I was thinking there's of looking through the book and seeing if any of these talk about memory and just putting them aside and figuring out if they have flowers that look like that. Oof, I know. Um, a balm against eye strain that has nothing to do with memory. Red spores are often seen growing and the fact the type of fungus and so blah blah blah. Um, Oh yeah, this is the one that makes you look young, but you're actually not. So this is creepy. This plant has a rejuvenation effect, but most who have tried uh, tried to benefit from its properties have come to see, can realize that it is a curse, not a blessing. Though you may appear younger, you will quickly become more frail and brittle. That is messed up, dude. Um, Devil's Nightcap which is also another gross one. It's called Corpse's Friend. If ingested as a seed, it will cause slow, agonizing death, of course, and the plant will grow out of the body once deceased. It has a light, pleasant scent, not dissimilar to pine needles. Boiling the root in vinegar creates tonic against fevers and poisons. I mean, I'm glad something good comes of it, because that's messed up. Um, Dranthium. This is the one that turned your eyes green. And it does give you mind-altering abilities, but I don't know if that's an aid to memory. I think that's a little too much. Where is the Dranthium? All right, I'm gonna put the Dranthium up here for just a moment in case we don't have a lot of choices, but I don't feel like, here, hold on. I don't feel like those flowers look anything like, I look at these flowers, is that, those are like little bulby things. Those don't look anything like these flowers down here. Oh, did I mean put it? Thank you. Yeah, see? That doesn't look it. I'm, I'm gonna say no. <sighs> Go away. Um, this is a antidote to that horrible poison. Protective properties, sometimes giving us an offering to different deities. That's not helpful. 
said the producer is considered overpowering my son, but it starts to stimulate the senses and rejuvenate aching, aching bones. I could use some of that. For me, aching bones. Let's see. Um, eye bright. Brightly colored thorns. They will not lasting damage, but they get a small amount of venom. Ugh. Uh, warmer climates, and they call it Lone Thorn Dead King. Oh, it improves eyesight after dark, but also not what we're looking for. Okay. Farmer's Worry. Strength or song, also not what we're looking for. Strength or song, sometime. Uh, energy Boost? Nope. Plant has powerful sporific event. Sleeping draft, also not what we're looking for. Uh, contract of friendship. A plant with medicinal properties that can aid in digestive troubles. Nope. Uh, oh yeah, this is the poison. Super murderous and horrible way to die. Um, but this is a dental hygiene one. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's see. This one releases seeds. Burned as incense, can burn lead out of high. Oh, this is really creepy. Once dried and hardened, the stems can be burned as incense. As they burn, they let out a high pitched shrieks, widely believed to be the spirits of dead souls trapped within the plant. That's nice. That's really nice. <laughs> oh, here we go. Henchuck. The fruit of the henchuck can have. Uh, startling effects on the memory. Even small doses can return short. Oh wait, in short-term memory loss. No, no, we don't want that. We don't want amnesia. We want the opposite. <sighs> Do we not ever figure what head check was? Oh, we have that one. Oh well. Okay, inhaling smoke, burning the dried leaves, this plant can provide pain relief. Uh, through the flowers of the Jacob's Worth. Uh, the point, the way toward any person we wish to locate. That is very helpful. Never been used successfully in many lost wanderer out of the fells. Okay, let's see. Leaves curl around distinctively, which combined with attractive flower and hardy nature make this sought after ornamental plant. Aids with conditions of memory deterioration, especially with old age. Maybe? Lady of Summer. Oh, I did. Yeah, let's put that one over here just for time. Because that one might be that one. Larkshire? Larkshine. Larkshine is a plant with a. I should probably get closer to the screen. <laughs> It releases sting barbs. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, that's not helpful. Uh -huh. Okay, lemon dandy. Curled leaves, thought to be the origin of the name of this plant, supposedly referring to the peeled lemon rind. Among several medicinal uses, the flower of the lemon dandy is mostly associated with curing afflictions of the heart. I don't think we have this one yet, but there's Neptune. It's called the Truth Sayer. The plant will force a person to tell the truth when eaten. Sparsely petaled pale flowers give off strong scent. Oh, wait. This is a pale flower. Overpoweringly sick. Sweet. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. What movie are you guys gonna watch? Let's see. Um, sometimes witches remedy the long bear kind of to live curses. Made in sorrow, rubbing the soft leaves of this plant between one's finger and thumb. Some unwinding, the focusing effect, maybe. Made in sorrow, maybe. 
baby. Come on, dude. Go over. Thank you. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out, like, what plants might be going into this elixir right now. Let's see. Mary's breath, bow to secrecy. Okay, most remarkable is this a person who has a notice. Aura of confidence, persuasiveness. Sharp focus. Norwood might be a thing. Okay. Let's see. It's claimed that the Norwood releases spores that are invisible to the naked eye, showing up under unnatural light. I don't think we have this one yet. Because I remember... Oh wait, there it is! Right there! Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Sure. Okay. Well. I think that's the Norwood. Concentration. So that might be another one. Possibly. Let's see. Is it an improvement to air quality? Nope. Um, gastric distress? Nope. Uh, which is hidden. Um, yeah, turn black in the presence of certain poisons. Satanic practices. The petals. They greatly improve hearing. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Enjoy your movie. Okay. Hey, Elvin, can you hear me? Once again, not good, right? Uh, sunset mouse, mount cap, fungus, unpleasant odor, unwanted souls and spirits. Not about memory, though. Okay. Strike the relationships. Down in the dark. That's creepy, but not important. Uh, plant this blue to memory to lead to gold. Um, that's awesome, but still not helpful. Uh, purple berries by a physician's place a hair of the dog. Okay. A uh, winter boar. Autumn plant. Rubbery leaves make effective insect repellent. <sighs> Which is fig. This plant is said to have many, including easing symptoms of infection, soaking up moisture, and protecting presence of certain compounds. Okay, okay. So now, the inhaling the smell of flowers is said to help with symptoms of that. Okay, so we found four plants that had something to do with um, memory. So there's this one. Up. Oh, 
Uh, maybe that dead there. Aha, uh -huh. okay, that's perfect. So you can see like the pictures of the flowers down there. So Candlewood, what this says, uh, produces a red flower that provides a shielding effect, protecting against the manner of afflictions of the mind. That one was like the first one I put aside because I was like, afflictions of the mind, memory, maybe it was a long shot. Um, the next one is this Lady of Summer. Curl, the leaves curl around delightfully, which combined with an attractive flower and a hardy nature make this sought-after ornamental plant. Aids with conditions of memory deterioration associated with old age. So I thought that would be good, because that actually is about memory. And it kind of looks like this one right here. Because it got one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, wait, well, that's five. These are both five. One, two, three. Oh. Well, it's sort of that one. None of these are going to be perfect, I don't think. Um, and then we have Maiden Sorrow. Yeah, I thought so too, right? And this one has five on it. And this one's rubbing the soft leaves of this plant between one's finger and thumb is said to help prevent the mind from wandering, providing a focusing effect. I thought that one was very mind-altering. <laughs> Flowers of this plant uh, droop mournfully, but the thorns along the stem that are thought to lend to its name. And this one has five. Um, and is very pointy. And then we have Norwood. Nor was Norwood. Okay, so here's Norwood. Which really doesn't look like any of them, if I'm being honest. Um, the bite of the crunchy root of this plant has the effect of a cold bucket of water thrown over the face. An unpleasant sensation accompanied by sharp focus. So here's another focus one again. Um, it is claimed that Norwood releases spores that are invisible to the naked eye, showing up only under unnatural light. So yeah, so, I mean, it gives you focus might have something to do with memory. Mm. And then the last one I was thinking is the, dr the Dreavium, and that's because this one oh, was that green-eyed thing. Let's see. A uh, plant with this powerful mind-altering ability is one who inhales the smoke from the burning, but it doesn't look like any of the pictures. Like, this is definitely not. Ah. Uh, Ugh. Yeah, I mean, they say mind-altering, but they don't really... Oh, oh, it elevates their ability, awareness, and, uh, awareness to levels otherwise unachievable. I mean, that's pretty good. But that's just awareness. That's not like remembering anything. That's more like in the moment, you know? Plus, that is definitely does not look like Muted Flower. So which three do you think we should try first? I feel like Lady of Summer is a definite. Oh god, pop quiz. Okay. And I'm gonna say, and let's go with Maiden Sorrow as a definite try as well, because both of those were pretty close. Yeah, so the two we have to decide between... Yeah, agreed, agreed. So the two we have to decide between is Candlewood and Norwood. Which, honestly, I know, neither of them actually look like the picture at all. <laughs> if I'm being honest, it's like, okay. <laughs> like, sure, buddy, whatever you say. <sighs> what's, this, wait, what's this one? Oh, yeah, that's... Is this the anecdote? Ugh. 
<laughs> if you close your eyes and then don't touch it, it's identical. I know, right? Okay, let's go with this one first. Let's just see what happens. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out what happens when you randomly put Blitz in a beaker <laughs> and set it on fire. Oh no, that was that was not bueno apparently. Apparently, that's not good. <laughs> I love that. Sure, it'll be fine. And then it's like dead heads. All right, let's just try one more before the day is up. We'll just give this one a go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is also a a no go. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think it's gonna be a little bit more than just find things to talk about. Um, about your brain. It's gonna be a little bit more confusing? I'm not sure. It's, it's gonna be a thing. Um, yeah, maybe not, right? Definitely, definitely not. I will put these two, let's see, which one was this? I'll put these two aside because they did actually talk about memory in their bio and we don't have to remember them later because neither of us have that memory in Chanter, right? Right? The saying? We won't remember is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Um... Let me just move these over here because it's going to be, it always drops it in the middle and it's kind of annoying. I wish it dropped it on the top shelves, that would be much easier. Okay, let's uh, put this away and we'll end the day and start on day 11. See what happens. Uh oh. 902803. In time, she learned that the sisterhood had secrets. Or had she always known that? She had come to them by chance, or had she sought them out deliberately? She wasn't sure. But n by now, she knew that she wanted what she wanted, and she would do anything to get it. Ooh, dang. She's definitely going dark side. the mountain. Bofell is 902 and old man is 803. And so we need to go there. Chris the Clags, Christ the Clags. Yeah. The impressive ridge line of Crinkle Crags stretches across the full width of my vision. Days like today are worth being alive for. A colorful plant stands out amongst the moss. Clipped! Ooh! That's cool looking. Stop doing the middle. Alright, it's just gonna it's just gonna keep going to the middle, so I'm, I don't know why I keep fighting it. It's like fighting the tide. There we go. Just all the way over, please. Step on, step on. Okay. So, let's see what this says. The leaves feel smooth and soft underneath. The large stamen seems to be the source of that acerbic odor. Ooh. It's a smelly one. Let's see if we... Oh, no. We can't do that here. Um, I had a smells bad pile, but I don't know if that still stands. Pathicating. George Campbell. Have we seen him before? Old man. My old man recommends there's a plant that helped me find pots of buried gold. Oh, yeah. We just looked at that one. 
Ugh, weeping bell. Okay, we haven't actually found it yet. So let's uh, put our map away. Look for uh, the weeping bell. Okay, so the plan is believed that we need to lead to gold. We'll have about as much luck searching for the end of the rainbow. Soft frilled leaves can soothe insects bites and also known as golden light and sometimes fool's hope. So soft frilled leaves. That kind of looks, does that look frilly? The gentle scent. Uh, that's definitely not frilled, not frilled. Uh, uh, not frilled. This one's kind of frilled. Come on, buddy, go over on the plausibility train over here. I don't think I've made one for this. No. All right. So I think it's this one because it's the only one that really has a frilled leaf. And it says soft leaves. Soft, soft. flower head of the Mary Dock is made up of small yellow florets. <laughs> Boom! A single drop of the strong smelling sap from this plant can utterly drain a person's mental faculties, running them slow and un uncomprehending. Oh, that's good. Hmm. Oh yeah, we're Weeping. Oh, it's, oh, it's you, guy, again. I have a task here that would greatly aid the seeds of redemption. You know what? I was just kidding about the whole cult thing. I don't want to join. <gasps> Paid you a visit already. No doubt feeding his habit. Uh-oh. Lisa Beck, he's here on the hunt for Dendru. If he returns, give him some of this. <gasps> Let's help him on his way. Worthy sacrifice for Dendru. That's creepy. I don't know about that. I feel very uncomfortable with that suggestion. Oh, and the little yellow florets. What was that one that we just looked at? Lesser? Yeah, but that's the lesser Mary Doc right there. Ooh. I don't feel comfortable giving him that. I totally feel like we should play the, um, we should be uh, the double agent here. It'll be, it'll be a pain in the butt if they don't actually give us a choice, though. Because you joined the cult, you have to poison a dude. Oh, hey, it's our old friend. I'm headed out on the road again, but before I leave, I wanted to store some valuables in a safe. Um, I joined a cult. I don't know if I'm trustworthy. I don't trust myself to remember the combination. I certainly don't trust myself to write down it anywhere and not lose it. Okay. This is where you come in. Ah, bollocks. <sighs> okay, dude. We put it off long enough. We're gonna have to come up with an elixir. Hmm. Maybe we should just look at the plant. At the, what the plant leaves look like. Specifically. And not worry. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this one has nine. 
and just like do it on site rather than on what they actually say in there. Um, this one. Yeah, that's gonna have too many. Butterbeer. I know it's not butterbeer, but now I want a butterbeer. Um, definitely not, definitely not, definitely not, definitely not. Yeah, that doesn't look like the picture at all. That's too many as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's a six. But it's rounded, right? No, they're both fives. We need fives, not sixes. Okay, that's definitely not it. Yeah, that's definitely not it. Um, that doesn't look right because it's supposed to be pinched at the end. Five, six, not it. Also, that's the poison, so we should probably not give people that. How many was in this one? Was this a six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. But this one was a five. Alright, so that one's still a possibility. Um. Definitely not. Those only have four. Oh, that's funky. Oh, here's a five. Sort of, but it doesn't have the dip. What just happened? Oh, what was this one? This one had more. Is this one a nine in it? Or no, that had more than nine. Where did I put it? Uh oh, girl, I think I lost a plant. I was being all efficient and I was like, oh, oh no, I put it up here. That's why. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oof. Jeez Louise. Just getting too smart for myself. Alright, what's this one? Um, oh, well that one has a weird ND, not like these ND. Um, 
definitely not that one, right? Right? Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, thank God, it's not that one. <laughs> I don't think I could handle it if it was that one. No. Those have four. Those are berries. count them on this one. Yeah, I can't count them. Whatever. We're just gonna leave that out. Okay. So then we have ones that we don't know about. So this one definitely has the leaves that are pointy. And this one has the leaves that are that are drooped in the middle. Those are round, so I don't think it's this one. What about this one? Also round out. No, no, no. Oh, and this one also has the pointy leaves. Oh, and it has... Oh, look, it has the two little... I can't think of the biology. You know what I'm saying. The little penis part of the plant. I don't know what they're called. Stamen. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just said penis part. Let's just edit that out of the stream. Yeah? Okay? So I think it's definitely this one because it has two stamen in it. <laughs> Maybe you went and got some water and no one was listening to that, hopefully. <laughs> I'm really hoping. <laughs> okay. Um... I think it really is that one and not this one. Um. Lady of Summer. This one also has two little tubies coming out of it. Oh, but it's not like that. Okay. Yeah, this one. My hairbrush is this. Okay. So honestly, I think it's these two plants for sure, Zs. Let me see that one again. Yes, yeah, because it also has the stamen. And this one does not have a stamen. Um, so the only two left are this one. Did you have the lines down the middle and a pointy bit? And kind of a not perfectly round center. This one does not have a line down the center. And it does have like a perfectly round bit with a thingamabobber. Mellow glow. Um, 
So, at a process of elimination of just the way things look, I'm going with Eyebright. It's not. That's awesome. Okay, thank a bubbly. Okay, where did it go though? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? Why? Okay. So my my palo dearo friend, here you go. Here's some elixir. Is it? Entry. Dink it, dink it. Okay. Elixir identified. Spring wax cap. Edible mushroom. Yeah. Some wild medicinal. Mild. Mild. Not wild. <laughs> medicinal properties. When dried and eaten, it can help relieve pain. Nice. Uh, I mean, we do have a couple of mushrooms over here left. But I don't think it's either of them because. That one smells really funny and that one glows. So maybe we still need another one. Jeez, oh my gosh. Did we get a new plant? Or are they just smushing them in there now? Oops. Oh, wow. No, they just started a whole new a whole new uh, page. Awesome. Okay. This helped me, I lost my dog while looking out for the fells. The mist rolled in and he's gone. I remember there was a plant you could help find people. Yeah, yeah. I'm working. Wonder if it works on dogs. Yep. I do remember there was something. <laughs> but I looked at so many of them, like trying to remember which one's which. I don't remember. I'll just start here. Uh. Oh! <laughs> that was just... Apparently my brain is remembering stuff, I guess. Um... That was total coincidence that I went to that page. Why is the music loud again, I think? It's just on my end. Okay. Simone, my favorite librarian. Oh, good. Hello, boy. You haven't been getting enough food. No. Mm, don't. Yeah, my mother has me looking into this servant creature for you. But I'm afraid it's not being going anywhere. It's strange. I'm sure I've seen some reference to it before, but I'm drawing a blank when I've tried to find anything. Definitely being interfered with, my friend. You need to circle us all. I think Lord Fremont's archives would be a good place to look. I supposed to this to you, but I was going to town anyway, so I thought I'd drop it off in person. That sneaks some hellebore hugs. You know what? Fine. If you bring food from the little monster, that's fine. Not getting anywhere. Looking through. Yeah. Okay. Apple side. Mention the servant of Lord Fremont in Lancaster. I hope for many ancient and esoteric scrolls covering a wide variety of subjects. Might be worth a visit. Cool. cool. Okay. Oh, here it is. I follow Fremont's man servant deep into the vaults of the castle. Two hours later, I still found no mention of the servant. On the verge of giving up, a name grabs my attention. The Woken Dendru. Didn't Verona say that it was another name of the servant? Yes, and also those crazy cult people you jo joined. The Woken Dendru is loyal to the summoner, who would be 
becomes its master and can bend its terrible power to their will. The servant is assumed to be immortal since it has no known vulnerabilities, but that does not mean that it cannot be defeated. Many hundreds of years ago, a site of ritual importance was created near Blackcomb to the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak. Oh, and Dendry was ousted from this world. Unfortunately, although we knew that five plants were required for the ritual, of course they were. Specific plants are not known. Of course, of course, of course. Yes, of course. Wait, what was this one? Oh, okay, yeah, that's just the names of the plant. Okay. So, I remember there being the Great Oak. The Great Oak. And then it said... I don't know, that's the wrong one. Why did it go over here? Um, to the south of the Watcher, the Great Oaks. Alright, so to the south of the Great Oak. So, if the Great Oak is there, then it's like there? And there's Blackcomb. Alright. Probably has something to do with this one or the antidote. Alright. So was it directly south? Let me see something. It's probably just directly south. Oh, look, it looks like a key, too. A small stone shire sits off to one side of the clearing. Five grooves run out from the center of the stone, wandering into recesses at the base. Five slots for five plants. This is the right place, but I'm too early. I need Verona's green to help perform the ritual. Alright, well, we know where it is, at least. John Hall? Norwood, please. Only thing that can keep me from nodding off on the night shift. Oh wait, I think that was one that I didn't actually... Yeah, here, try it, see what happens. Sweet! Oh, it's end of the day. Dens and Daisy Dock. Simple potion that will grant courage can be brewed from the leaves. It is said that ancient warriors would take it before going into battle. like those leaves. Right? Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five. But that only has three. Uh, there's another curly, fuzzy looking one, wasn't there? Oh, uh, let me... like the closest thing. Let's just see what happens. Oh, it looks like you do have to have three things. What's that? Oh! Patterson's Guide to Fatal Fungi and Their Anecdotes. Spring Quick Scab. 
this bed, I'll get you here by taking oh, oh, that's very helpful. Um crushed leaves from the sour brandy current. Okay, okay. No no cure. Stay away from that one. Um I don't see anything that really three leaves let them be has to be three of something. Alright, fine. Be that way. I feel like it's gonna ask us to do this, though. tomorrow they're gonna be like I need some of that daisy dog give it to me have vinegar to add to that. It's not very helpful. Alright, let's just close up shop. We've had a long day. Not as long as some, but still. When her chance finally came, she did not hesitate for a moment. Afterwards, when the Arda was dead, she felt only elation. Years after she had first laid eyes on the book, she had what she needed. Dang, girl. Uh, oh, it's a full moon. Something, something big's gonna happen tonight, I think. Uh, the first letter of the plant they call Truthsayer. The number of petals on the lucky Calabalf. Cabalia? Oh, Truthsayer. Oh, I can't remember what that plant was. Okay. Okay, Cabalia. Um, not so far, but not anything super crazy, but we did get a new recipe, um, the Daisy Dog, but it only has one, like, leaf in here, um, a simple potion that will grant courage can be brewed from the leaves, but, uh, you need to have three, and this only has one thing on here. Sure. I don't know. Um. Because this one right here is the closest thing. And it doesn't even really look like it. Because it only has two. I mean three instead of five. You know. And then when you just try to put it in here. It don't do heat. Yeah. yeah. And you can't really. Clicking on it. Clicking on it. Clicking on it. Nothing do it. Nothing do it. So, fine. Fine! Um, oh, and we have a new card. Uh, put this over here. Our new card. Go away. So, 
Okay, so how many? It's got six petals. Six petals. Okay, so it's got six. Close. And the first. I know, right? We have so many plans, and we've got more entries. Like, I thought maybe that was all the entries. So I was like, because they had filled up yesterday. Um, oops, no. And then I was like, oh, I guess not, because they just started new pages, even though these pages were not there yesterday. Magic! So we could have a lot, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Oh, we could we could have a lot. Um, oh right, I gotta find out what Truth Slayer is. Do you remember what Truth Slayer was? Uh, stomach pains. Hypothermia. Butter. Oh, on the lucky, that means it's seven. Okay. Good thing I looked at the page. Um, worship the Huntress. Love lock. Oh my gosh, I totally did. Um, and we have had some crazy plans. So, the spyglass thing. Uh, this is what the spyglass the spy glasses and the uh the plant is called red ebony does this look red to you no but we're pretty sure it's a man eater because look at that thing <laughs> it's so ridiculous oh i let's see i've gotten a lot of poisonous plants um this plant is pretty cool looking. Yeah, it's a very odd red. Apparently, it's fought over because it's so red that the red refers to men's blood that has been spilled. Like, that's yeah, ominous. The whole thing. It's like everything is poisonous. Leads to insanity. It's just... <laughs> it's very dark. I love it. It's, I'm having so much fun. This is a weird plant we just got. I have no idea what it is, but... Um... It looks like a pitcher plant, kinda, in real life, but, yeah, 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 there's a, uh, we've, uh, we've joined a cult now, we're in a cult, um, there's this guy, here, this is really cool, so we found, met this guy, he is a hunter, and he has, and there's this plant, of course, that, uh, they, uh, the drayer, and it turns their whole eyes green, so it's very, like, the spice melange from Dune, you know? The spice must flow. The dran dranthium must flow. And they die if they stop taking it. Um, we got this lady. I'm um, pretty sure she is the bad lady. She wears a jade mask all the time, making her super creepy. Um, where is the cult guy? Oh, here he is. And this guy, obviously in a cult. I mean, look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. And he's got this flower thing. That's weird. So, a lot has been going on. So many flowers. I ended up having to alphabetize them all. Because there are so many and it started getting confusing. <laughs> And all the ones with the yellow are ones that are properly identified. So, yes. The pink ones are ones I think those are what those are, but I could be wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, when we opened up this part of the box. That was cool. There's like a hidden latch somewhere up here. Which I can't find now, but I took everything out of that. Yes, 
Yes, very nice. Let's see. Pleasant scent. I'm looking for a plant called the Truth Sayer. That's the other thing, is this does not have an index, so either you remember exactly what the plant was called, or you have to like randomly go through once <laughs> until you find it again. You're like, ah, yay. So sparsely petaled. This one, maybe? Although that really doesn't look like a thing. Is that sparsely petaled? A strong scent. Sickly sweet scent. Overpowering. What did this one say? Quite beautiful, really. No, I think it's this one. And what was the question? The first letter of the plant. Alright. So, L7 is possibly possibly what we're looking for. Oh my god, it worked. Yay! Amble through the Meadowland. Amble. As I amble through the Meadowland, stopping every so often to examine any wildflowers that catch my eye. Buttercups, daisies, cowslips, broad clover, knapsweed, cat's ear. And hid among them some of my new from my collection. Does this one look like? The flowers are blue. <laughs> that was helpful. <laughs> what about this one? Somewhat pungent. Oh my goodness. It has been getting uh, progressively harder as we've gone along. It's uh... I got stuck on a couple of ones that just like, did my brain did not want to to work on it just was it was just not going there it took me forever to figure out what I had missed so it's easy to miss something and then have to go back later once you hit a, a dead end I'm so glad I looked under a microscope to tell me it was blue. <laughs> right? <laughs> that's that's a deep one, sir. Thank you for that riveting information. Okay. Let's... Leslie? 
safe with me she is a member of the sisterhood who is a witch who lives in the woods so I don't remember when you tapped out um, a couple days ago so she's one of the sisters but her the head of her order the Arda was murdered and she was the one that uh, that we've been looking the I think it's this guy uh, who's been the detective has been looking into finding out who murdered her and she definitely was murdered we figured out that was poison a pretty nasty one and what else oh gosh we haven't seen her in a while um, so she comes by from time to time because she even though the, the sisterhood is very secretive and doesn't want to help us, she realizes that they, you need out, they need outside help, so she keeps coming in and like giving us clues and asking us for help and stuff. And we actually did a ritual where we asked our, our Duena, their goddess, for, um, oh yeah, goddess, uh, for we did a protection spell. So clearly that helped and it saved everybody. So way for us. Um, what other dramas abound? Oh, right. So we joined the cult. They basically were like, or else. And so I was like, all right, let's just join the cult and see if we can be a double agent. But yes, yes, there's a lot and lots of drama. So this guy, Mr. Cult, he used to live in a cave, by the way. We went to that cave, nothing interesting in there, just a creepy cave. Um, he has asked us to to dope this guy with a plant that'll make him easy, easy prey to the uh, the servant um, who they obviously they worship. So there's lots going on. Like these people worship the servant, and they call him something like the Woken Dendru. Uh, this guy is a hunter and wants to kill the Woken Dendru. Uh, we're pretty sure the Woken Dendru had something to do with the Sisterhood's leader's murder and the attack on the Sisterhood we just heard about. And we're pretty sure that she is used to be in the Sisterhood. I know, right? And we're pretty sure she used to be in the Sisterhood, and now she's actually in charge of the ser Servant. That's what we have going on that drama so far. Oh! Is that green Coleman? Um, okay, okay. And this lady uh, puts up with no one's with no one's guff. Um, but she is like an elder librarian, and so she uh, so she knows lots of stuff that's going on. So she's in a, she's a scholar, and she's the mother of the librarian who is our friend. And she went out to the first murder carnage area where the guy and the sheep were all murdered to heck. And, uh, 
uh, she uh, doesn't put up with anyone's malarkey. And she's pretty awesome. Hardcore lady. Um, so she's, she's in the mix as well, trying to figure out what's going on. And everyone else is just kind of... Yeah. Those, that's the biggest drama right now. Let's see. Let's see who else is going to show up at the shop today. Oh, yay, we have mail. Oh, the lady who invited the castle. No, 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 no. Uh, that lady, she was just a rando uh, who really liked plants. And yeah, she actually was very nice and very helpful. We got lots of plants and different information out of that trip. Um, oh, wait, what's going on here? They're saying the sisterhood has been attacked. Don't know much more than that, but... Oh, and he is gossip. He's got the best tea, like, all about the neighborhood. Uh, don't know much more than that, but those seeds of redemptionists have got excited about it. There's a bunch of them chanting outside pulvers right now. Oh, gosh, this is why you don't join a cult. Right there. Um... Yeah, she just looked evil because it was very fancy. And I think she's sending us these random letters with, like, only this, like, bit of information. This is what took me forever to figure out. Okay, because <laughs> I didn't know what this guy... Come on, dude. I didn't know what this guy was. And now that I know how to use it, this code is super easy. But at the time... I thought that, like, the second word was, like, a code. And I was trying to figure out, like, Old Cumbrian words, which is, like, the language before England, English in, in the Lake District. Like, we got really... And we're trying to, like, figure out, like, maybe this looks like a candle, maybe this looks like an eye, and what does I really mean? And it got really complicated when we realized you just put it over the town and then you look for the symbol and then it points right there. That made me really tired. <laughs> I was like, I think I should go to bed now. Because <laughs> it took us like 45 minutes to figure that out. <laughs> okay, Foxfield's right over there. And it's a trident. So, watch this. This is super easy. Trident. Boom. <laughs> and that took us so long. Oh my gosh. <sighs> From Foxfield, a trident points me in the direction of some foothills northwest of Swinsdale Stone Circle. A faint patch leads me over the ridge and onto a dell. Here the plant thrives, sheltered from the wind. Alright, cool. Foolish purple. Wow. They're getting super helpful. You guys, I don't know without these clues. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Freight. I feel like the developers were just like, listen, we've put a lot of effort in up to this, to this amount, you know? Like, we're two thirds of the way through the game, we're a little tired, we're just gonna start saying, this is a blue flower. You don't even need to look under a microscope. Just get some blue flower. It's fine. If you got some flowers, just be happy. Uh, it does. You're right. I was making fun of them and I totally missed out that whole thing. Okay. Another rando blue. Is there a rando blue one? Thank you. 
Interesting, interesting. It's getting smaller the closer I put them together. Eh, no. My brain is just getting smaller. Um... So it looks like we have at least one, possibly more. Whoa, that was freaky. This one next to it. Okay. These flowers are blue. Yes, hello my friend. I'm going to Black Comb. I will kill the serpent. No, dude, you shouldn't do that. But people are saying he lives without fear, does not live at all. Oh yeah, that is close to a saying. Um, I will understand I'm afraid, but I would like a bad thing to die hunting a noble adversary. I will take... Okay, so we either can like dose him or we can give, be good and give him the Emersol. I feel like, I feel like being good this time around. Um, I will give him the Emersol. I won't murder him. Although I really should have gotten that other one. Oh wait, Windows, whoa, Windows, whoa. Said to induce fear. Camp foot, partially due to its unpleasant scent. Dainty, dark flowers grow out from the, the bed of long, thin leaves. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Smack him a few more times. It's like, fine, he's gonna die anyway. I mean, he's gonna go try to kill the servant on his own. <laughs> you know. Might as well give him the thing and, like, at least get the, uh, my plants labeled correctly. It's fine. That's usually my second playthrough where I'm just like, I'm the bad person now. <laughs> I'm gonna do all the terrible things that I should, that I wanted to do, but didn't the first time around because I was trying to be a good person. I don't know why, because it's a game, so who cares? But still, ugh, social pressure. Let's see. Forbes Labbit presents. Oh, hello, sir, with a beard. I will own a small shop, specialize in some curiosities. Oh, do you now? Mm -hmm. I have thought that someone in your position ought to be interested in swaying a collection of manuscripts on elixirs, for example. Sure. Oh, our inside end. Oops. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go and check out Mr. Beardy. Our inside. No idea. Oh, here it is. <sighs> Exterior of Arnside Antiques blend into the surroundings. A tailor called Jones, an ugly looking haberdashery. To the extent that I walk past it three times before I find it. Inside, however, I'm greeted by a world of intrigue and wonder. Old trinkets sit alongside faded books and manuscripts, while strange utensils and machines the uses unfathomable occupy rows simply cases. Sometime before I peel myself away, returning to Undermere with two new recipes for elixirs that demand further study. Cool. Uh, okay, the elixir of the damned. Oof. Our 
been echoless, malicious hunter, and then sportus. This powerful elixir is dangerous and extreme caution is advised. Said to bring a person back from the brink of death, but at the expense of their soul. Ugh. Trade off. So Jack appeared vacant, lost, but alive or no longer well, that's really what's the point. No longer really with us. Okay. Saint Quentin Selection. Selection will enable any drinker to overcome their sense of fear, though it should be considered beforehand that fear is not always a bad thing. For example, it would not be wise to drink this near the ledge of a cliff. A five pointed leaf to grant courage, a red flower to protect the mind, and a seed pod for luck. Okay. Okay. Um. Oof. All right. Well, um, I am probably gonna play it same time tomorrow. So I hope you get to stop by and see what's going on. And I'm also recording them, so you can check them out later if you're really that bored. <laughs> night, night. Thanks for stopping by again. Mans Fortis. Tranthium. And Manculus Mark 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 I don't know. I am not good with these names. There we go. And Hancock and Chuck. That's definitely Henchuck then. Okay. Uh, 